Now, normally, I don't make videos about motherboards, but in this case, when you get a good DDR4 option and NZXT made some things a little bit different, it felt like doing something just a little special just for this. NZXT sent me all of their new Z690 motherboards with the N7 and now their new N5. You have some options and I thought it was worth just doing a quick overview on what these boards are and why they may be important for two reasons. One, they're both DDR4 boards, given where things are in the DDR5 space, specifically with Intel and the fact that there's some compatibility stuff. I thought it was pretty smart for NZXT to actually do DDR4 versus DDR5. And these aren't priced too terribly, $299 for the N7 and 239 for the N5. These boards are both built in partnership with ASRock, uh, so they share a lot of similarities with ASRock, but the one thing that's unique about these is that they actually have RGB headers specifically for uh, NZXT components. So, and that includes their new fans, their AIOs, etc. So if you're having a whole NZXT ecosystem, you have the opportunity to just use those RGB headers as well as the traditional RGB headers that are also included with this board. They're both designed for the Z690 chipset, which means you can do Core i9, Core i7, Core i5. They're Wi-Fi 6E, which is great, and they both have Bluetooth 5.2. The N7, and this is the part where it's interesting, actually has three M.2 connectors, which is unique. Even though you can remove all the shielding, and I'll show you a little bit when we do like an overview of the motherboard here in a bit, um, I will tell you, it's not easy, and frankly, it's actually relatively difficult to snap it back in. So you're gonna save yourself some pain with um, using a, a screwdriver like this. Now let's talk about the N5. This one actually can do four M.2s versus the three on the N7. Some white highlights, some black highlights, depending on which one you choose. The rest of the shielding is all gone. By providing the minimalistic and removing some of the shielding, they're actually adding more features uh, to the motherboard specifically. Much, much easier to build with because you don't have to worry as much about the shielding, so you can use any standard screwdriver. Build experience is going to be fine. You have less to kind of worry about and work with. That's kind of the overview. Let's go and take a, a closer look at the two boards. This is the N5. Their standard boxing. We'll see what's included afterwards. So I'm just gonna get this kind of out of the way. Okay, so this is the NZXT N5. We've got USB-C, USB 3.2. You've got your typical 24 pin. These are those specific headers I was talking about. These are cam RGB headers. I wish this was covered. I mean, green, it's not too pretty. Again, you will more than likely have that covered by a massive GPU. But there it is. There's your fourth M.2 on the back. For IO, um, it's okay. So pretty, pretty robust board, not bad for 239 bucks. Let's take a look at what else is inside the box. So you've got your typical SATA, uh, there, there's your connections for your wireless, uh, lots of M.2 screws, so nothing too fancy there. And then on the other side, there's your instructions. So actually very basic in terms of even what it comes with. Lots more shielding on this bad boy. You've now got this side mounted mechanism versus what you had on the N5 where it was just up top, more standard. Your USB-C and a 24 pin. So you've actually got more fan headers on this. You got seven fan headers, unless I missed one on the other board, which is, there's always a chance. But do you see these screw holes? You definitely need a much more standard screwdriver to be able to get down into these. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so they're magnetic now. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, they've got two magnetic pins. That is a that is a big upgrade. So there's your second M.2. That is, okay, magnets, awesome. So definitely more audio. You've got a clear CMOS button. Okay, so that is an overview of the motherboards. Both very capable motherboards. Plenty of power phases, not that it really matters all that much. Uh, all the same connectivity, DDR4 up to 5,000 megahertz in terms of overclocking. Uh, really, really neat in terms of how they've made 
the covers so much better. But it's not about what I think, it's actually what you think. I'd love to know your thoughts and maybe a little bit more and you might be able to win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you just need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel, especially if you like this kind of content and love to know more. Your subscriptions tell us that, hey, we did a good job. We can, we can see all that data inside of our uh, analytics. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video, about the motherboard, something surprised you. Um, that would be absolutely awesome. Just not, I deserve to win. Uh, can I have a free whole set of these motherboards or something similarly weird? You also need to ensure that we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, so like your email. So put your email in your YouTube profile or we can't tell you if you've won. Why? Well, because we're gonna be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below that is worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. So, did you like the N7 and N5? Um, what did you think about these particular motherboards and are these motherboards that interest you? What do you think of the idea of them using DDR4 versus DDR5? And again, do you like the fact that they have one with shielding and one with not and the aesthetics? That is something um, that I always wanna know. And lastly, what do you think of the magnets? I'd love to know all of that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? In fact, we just got finished building a build with this in the H7 Elite, which you can check out right here. So head down below, check out Robitech Live down in the description below, and you can like and subscribe and notify when we go live there as well. Do you have questions about these motherboards or any other tech-related questions or PC building questions? Then check out discord.gg slash Robitech. It's filled with awesome tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at robitech.com or at Robitech Teals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things from tech, PC components, TVs, video games, you name it. Finally, you can follow me and my team on all the other socials at Robitech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this video and we super look forward to seeing you on the next one.